Hey, this is Sunshine Studios and my first tutorial it is going to be rainbow. So if you want to try it, get all your brushes lined up, get your paints lined up in the order you want the rainbow to go in. Have a spray bottle ready because it's very handy because if the paint starts to dry, it doesn't blend as well and it's good to just mist it a little bit to keep it all blending smooth. All right, here we go. And you have to kind of decide what order you want each color to be blended into. And you need a spray bottle, which I forgot. A misting kind like this. So it like, it shoots, it probably didn't get that. So it shoots a fine mist rather than like a direct spray of water. And this helps all the colors blend. Ideally, I'm going to sort of dry brush because I want the black background to stay and I only want the colors, I mean, I only want the flowers to get painted. So I will dry brush the rainbow on and then I will go back and touch up any black that got color on it. All right, here it goes. I also suggest ordering the paint. So, um, clearing off any cap fur that may or may not be there. Okay, what order do I wanna do this? All right, I'm a little nervous. So when you dry brush or when you just you want to keep the base color coming through all the details. You want to have like really very little paint. I'm not actually dry brushing. Dry brushing is when there's so little paint that the brush is dry. This is more like a wet but barely wet brush. And I always start with the edges because I kind of want the edges of things to be the most lit up. And I... You can go back to when you're dry brushing, you can go back and like saturate the color more, either right after doing it, which I'm gonna do because I'm impatient, but also you could let it dry, which is also what I'm gonna do. I kind of want, I love asymmetrical things and because this piece is so symmetrical, I want to, make the paint like asymmetrical. So that is what I'm doing. And you want to get like some paint. So like there's each color, but then there's in between each color. So that's what I'm working on. And I'm just spraying kind of the in between where I want there to be, like where the red meets the orange so that it blends. And then you kind of go back to the red from where the orange is. And then you add more of the color you want. See how that orange is much more electric looking. So, I'm gonna go to the yellow. I should probably, at once I'm done with the yellow, I'm going to switch brushes, but because orange, red, and yellow blend so well, um, yeah. And you kind of go back and forth till you're like blending. I'm gonna add a different color to get like the yellow, yellow. I, I think, and I may change my mind, I think I would like this to be a part of the rainbow instead of separate.
Okay, so it's the next day. I actually did another layer of rainbow to just make it look a little bit more saturated. Um, and I added a little white to the end here. And we're gonna do the back now, which I did. I did this cello already and I didn't like it. So I thought I would show um, what I did. I mean, doing the rainbow on the back. I thought I would show that. And I'm trying to kind of line this up with where it is on the other side. Um, yeah, so. And I kind of want to leave like a lot of the black because I added this texture additive, a texture additive. You can add baking soda. Um, you can add all sorts. And I kind of want to keep some of the dark, so. This is really waxy, but because I did it a couple months ago, it's fine. But if it's like freshly done decor wax, the paint is not going to stick to it. So you would have to, you know, either wait or do what I do if you're impatient, which is rub it off, scrub it off. Okay, so I've decided I don't like how it is. Um, it doesn't have like the texture, so I'm going to, it could totally mess up. So I'll say that, but I want to try and pull the texture through by sanding back, like just a little bit of rainbow. Whenever I sand, um, I try and wear a mask, but because this is so barely sanding, uh, I'm gonna be lazy. These are everything, they're called tack cloths, T-A-C-K, and they feel awful on your hands. They're very sticky, so um, they're great for sanding projects or cleaning things to get all the stuff off of them. So I'm going to try a tiny area and just see
think that's good. Happy with it. Yep. See what it gets off. It's gross. Okay, so this is the final result of the rainbow. Um, I really want to bring out a little bit of detail in the flowers and kind of a little bit break up the rainbow. I don't want to do too much, but I want to do a tiny bit. So I'm going to use this beautiful teal and um, I just want to make it look a little bit messy and a little bit broken up, but like just the smallest amount. So for the way I want to do it, I need a very flat brush and I'm not going to paint upright. I'm going to paint almost parallel so that it really just grazes whatever edges are sticking out the most. Almost like if something was patinaed, like patina occurs naturally on the edges that stick out the most. And that's, I wanna get just the tips and not even all of them, just like a bit random. Just like enough to just You do not want a lot of paint on your brush because too much paint, like right there, it kind of seeped into the crevices and I want the, I want the kind of cracks of the resin to stay with the color of the, the piece. Okay, she's finished. I don't show applying the top coat. It is very important you do that. Now for the staged pictures.